An absolutely blistering, blistering report tonight out saying the Obama administration in general and former Attorney General Eric Holder in particular repeatedly lied to the family of a slain Border Patrol officer about the weapons used in his death and stonewalled efforts to get at the truth. Correspondent William Lajeunesse tonight on Operation Fast and Furious. My only goal was to make sure he was laid to rest with honors. That honor has been insulted by cover-ups and deception by the very people he served. Border Patrol agent Brian Terry died in December 2010, killed by guns tied to an Obama administration plan that armed Mexicans, a scandal officials tried to hide by wrongly claiming executive privilege. The department's belated admission that those 64,000 pages were not privileged puts the gold seal of authenticity on the House's bipartisan vote to hold the attorney general in contempt. Emails contained in the House Oversight Committee's report show top officials knew the ATF sent guns to Mexico even before Terry's death. It's a tricky case given the number of guns that have walked, said a deputy attorney general. A colleague replied, it is not going to be any big surprise a bunch of U.S. guns are being used in Mexico, so I'm not sure how much grief we get for guns walking. Months later, two of those guns were used against Agent Terry, a fact denied to Congress and Terry's family. Only one possible motivation remains for all of those involved who have covered up Fast and Furious. That is to conceal their own shame and disgrace. Even the Border Patrol, which sent Terry's team into the desert, didn't know about the operation. I believe that if Brian Terry and his team had known this information, chances are Brian would be alive today. The report claims the administration tried to stop the investigation by discrediting whistleblower John Dodson. I was lied about, disparaged, publicly attacked, ridiculed, libeled. I've been transferred 11 times, denied promotion, ostracized, barred from government workplaces, and banned from public buildings. Lawmakers noted no one from the ATF or Justice Department was fired or seriously disciplined for the cover-up. Brett? William, thank you.